my friend of this my name is Mela Dunega Sekula. For the accused person, I have a sister. My counsel, Shani Valende. Mr. Kuru Chinehe. Let me get to know the names of the uh, other, other advocates. Sorry, my dear. The other advocates. That is Abdul No, that is N W O R Chinene. Mr. Abu Baker Sekanjako. Abu Baker? Sekanjako. And Mr. Musime Alex Martin. Your worship matter comes up for hearing of the prosecution case and bail application. And we have three witnesses in court today. Prosecution is ready to proceed. Yes, so we are ready to proceed with um, both. Let's take your analysis on two preliminary issues first. Um, Riders, who are of the. Can I get your first uh, sentence? Did you say you're ready to proceed with both? Yes, for, yes, we are ready for both, except we will receive your analysis on the order of proceeding. First, to seek your permission that the accused person be afforded the chair, because it's not in good health. I was informed this morning that his on treatment will not be able to. Do you write your name with double S at the yes, beginning? Yes, double S, double G. Double G. Yes. So it could be permitted to have a seat. They are uh, supposed to give him a chair. They have one. So, Chitaria. Uh, do you have a chair? Do you have a chair for that uh, gentleman to sit? The second prayer, worship, where we seek your regards is to proceed with the real application first. Why? One of, the, one of the sureties has a medical operator. Yeah, we are proceeding with the hearing and then bail application, and that was the order of court. Thank you. In which case, we also seek the guidance from the prosecution, because from the disclosure, we were only given statements, and the, the charge together with the statements allude to other exhibits we were not disclosed along with the statements. So we we'll seek to know if they are abandoning the exhibits, especially in terms of the placards which are not really in charge. And if they and if they intend to rely on them, then to provide them as directed earlier in the court. Which kind of exhibits are those?
Here's how there's only one exhibit, which is a card that was recovered from the accused person. And Can you disclose card. that said placard? It is to return from your honor because it can't be found to court. I seek for your guidance. Which kind of placard is that? Do you need a placard disclosed to you? Me, huh? yes, Do you want it to be disclosed to you? Yes, we do. In a photocopy? In whichever form they can reproduce it, because it's an essential element of what they are doing. Okay, as you sort that, can we proceed? Where is the first witness? So, uh, our friends, the journalists, unfortunately, are too many occupying even where you're not supposed to be occupying. So, we need the witness box now. What is your religion? I am the Asino Hispanic. What's your religion? Uh, 
uh, can you tell court how you left the station? When I heard the noise, I called upon my person We moved towards where the noise was coming from. Mm -hmm. you. In whose company were you? I'm the commander. Uh, and we moved, I moved with like four to five personnel. Mention their names, you know. Uh, I moved with, you see, Abangwasa Alex. I moved with AIP of Grand. So you had these people? Abangwasa Alex. I had AIP of Fura, heavy. PC Okilu. PC? Okilu, Okilu. Okay, I are you. Proceed. So when we reached we met one Segrinya and others. I met him towards the entrance of Chukumwolem. Heading to many price traffic lights. I managed to, to pick one second before before you go there. You stay here. What did you observe? What was he doing? How many were there? I observed Sevinia and others carrying crack cards and shouting on top of their voices and other people were coming to them. And on the front card and the words we are saying like this. You're going to go in a very slow and show up in one as priority for him. He was trying to drive. So what did you see? I saw one Tegrinya and others holding front cards. And calling people and other youth group joining him. On the front card, it goes like this. There were these words. Free our presidential victory. Which placard was you informed the court that there were several people <coughs> So which placard are you referring to? The placard, the exit, is right through in color with red marker written on it. It was held by one second. Yes. Words it had. It had the following words. Free our presidential victory. Free James Mumuru. Free James Mumuru. Free Eddie Motwe. Free Nubian So, <coughs> as I was trying to pick him, I got some stones. People started throwing stones. He was mentioning some words. Did you not get to hear the words? 
he was once mentioning the name, the words, that the same words were written on that card. We need a victory. As I was arresting him, I started getting people from top of the building of New Christ. They started throwing stones to us as we tried to arrest him and others for our How were you arrested him? Mm, did you talk to him? I was talk I tried to talk to him, but he couldn't listen to what me. Help him. I told him why don't you I told I asked what asked him, do you have the right document I allow you to write to come for protesting that in the middle of town what you didn't have. So after him failing to give me the right answer, and when people had started stoning us, I had to secure him and my, myself, and others who were away. About how many people were arrested? The, the people, there were like five in suits, and the crowd of young youth behind him, and others were coming from their shops. From there, I called for the backup from CPS main police station. I called the operations officer. What's his I moved with him, reached at 
winning prize for his post, where he was once. What should I pray to Terry? Presidential victory, free religions, free, free uh, presidential victory, Seven. Correct. 
doing with duties? Just general duties, CID traffic. General duties. And you are continuing with general duties? Yes, please. Have you ever received any training in uh, CID? I've never received any training in CID, but I've Thank gone you. for the session commander's now, course. I will ask you a question. My expectation is you're answering my question and not yours. So, you have not undertaken any training in CID or FAR? As we are training, we are taking the whole process. Have you or have you not? I have it going for that specific That's the question and that's my answer. Thank you. Now, on the day of arresting the Honorable Muhammad Sayyid, how did you know it was 10 o'clock? I put on my watch and my arm. You looked at your watch? And I looked at my watch. Was it necessary? Due to the procedures, it's yeah. always right and it's always right, always which group at the watch when you're doing I see. Tell us, tell this quote about the distance. Between the police post where you are standing and the point, the scene of arrest. What is the distance? The distance is not too much. Although I was not in position to measure the distance at that time. Are you able to estimate the distance? I will not the distance. Okay. Were you told or you saw them coming? I saw them coming. I was standing in the traffic lights. So you were not at your office? I was not inside the office. Traffic lights? In the traffic lights? Where exactly were you standing? The office is near the traffic lights. So you were standing at your office? Correct? I was standing outside my office. You were facing the direction Sejin was coming from? I was facing the, the route that comes from Nagawalen to traffic lights. Good. So you saw him? I saw him as well. You were not prompted by anyone? Not at all. You were not even prompted by the noise? The noise, I heard the noise. In my statement, I said, I heard the noise of people coming. Now that you're talking about the statement, when did you record this statement? You're talking about. Did you record the statement? You mean a police statement? In the witness, the, the things I've said here, I talked about the noise. Didn't I? No, I'm asking you, you don't ask me. Did you write a police statement? Yes, I did. When? It was on the deep day, that is the second. Okay. At what time did you record that statement? I'm not fortunate to record that time. You are not fortunate enough to record that time. You may look at it. If I'm um, cancelled. Now uh, the original master. I recorded my statement as fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty, and that's three thirty, correct? Thank you. 24 o'clock, that is 3.30. 3.30. Now, are you again sure you recorded it at 3.30 or 15.30? Again, by looking at your watch? According to the statement, I recorded it at 3.30. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No doubt, no doubt. Did you look at your watch as you recorded this statement? Because I couldn't write the time that I had not watched. Oh, so you looked at your watch? I checked on my watch time. and wrote the big time and recorded my statement. Look at that very statement and you read with me from where it states. States. Proceed. First of all, that is um, ASP Incement. Correct? Yes. Yeah, the most you mean price. 
and uh, Karo CPS Kambala. Correct? Yes. Good. Now let's go down to where you say states and you start reading. I do comply with the above particulars and address on 22nd of March 2021 at around just yes, read, don't don't yes, pause. Okay. Around. Please read now to go. Around twelve o'clock when I was standing at my post, police post, mini price post. I saw a group of people coming from now the morning. Coming to traffic lights at the price. These people were following Muhammad Sigmund, who was trying to park okay, with the writing. You may stop there and listen to them. <laughs> In your police statement, you are talking about 12 hours. That's when you saw them. In court, you have stated 10 o'clock. When you looked at your watch, at which of these two occasions was your watch functioning or not? My watch was functioning, I think, due to the heavy I was <laughs> <laughs> so which type is correct and which which is wrong? Where are you lying? I'm not lying. I'm honest. It was at ten. At ten. And I recorded my statement at fifteen. Is the statement also? Let's go to the back of your statement. I hope he has not been kidnapped. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you. I'm very serious. And I've seen things happening. You can even guide me. So, let's look at the apartment. As a right to know why it's not in the I'm in position to read it and defend it. Please read it. I have not asked you to defend it. The statement recorded and read back to me. Who read it back to you? No, I read the statement back to me because it was recorded by me. But so, since I record a lot. Mm. Okay, let's, let's, let's now listen to this question and you will answer. So, if the statement was not read back to you, what you state here that it was read back to you is not correct, confirm. The was that I wrote is not right, but what I wrote is not right. Read, read back to me. No one read back the statement, which means it was made by me. So it was made by you? It was made by me, but that was another self, side. In other words, it's a self recorded statement. It's a self-recorded statement. So, you would want this allegation or, uh, or statement that it was recorded and read back to you to be expanded because it is not correct. I think, since, here, since I, I write, here yeah, I don't think, no. since I write out of statements and no, I did time I'm not asking alone. for an explanation. 
You have confirmed it is not right. It is a wrong statement. In other words, it is a lie. It's not a lie. A lie is where a statement is not correct. And you make it knowing it's not correct. I didn't make it that it's not correct. Now, I was not handling it. Did you believe that it was correct when you're writing it? Please answer. As you're writing this statement, did you believe it? I was writing the statement, believing it was correct. But since I was <coughs> handling, and I write a lot of statements, and those are the words I usually use when I'm handling people's statements. I think it was another side. I did it in my usually, own statement. Usually when you're in a hurry, you make mistakes, correct? No, I don't. <laughs> was this a mistake or it was not? This was another side. And the timing? It was an oversight. Why? Because you are in a hurry. Due to the pressure on the ground at that time, and the work, a lot of work I had in office, I did write it. Where was the pressure on the ground? What was the pressure? This is 3 o'clock when you recorded the statement. I am a nurse. I don't attend to one person. Where did you record the statement from? The statement I came to CPS. You recorded it from CPS. Okay. Do you see? Do you recognize your signature on this statement? Yes, I do. Which one is it? The first one, which has ASP. Look at this statement. Don't fear it, by the way. It's yours. It's mine. Don't fear it. Which one is your statement? Are you uh, an assistant superintendent of police? Yes, I am. So where there is that signature, I, and sign, that is your signature, correct? Yes yeah, or no? I and sign is mine. Good. Recorded. So let's look at the next signature, which follows recorded by somebody, DC. Uh, whose, whose signature is this? Who is that detective constable? You will save a lot of time by answering these questions in the time amount. Who is that? This is not mine. Who, do you know who that person is? At DC. I don't. And the statement is saying is a court indicating recorded by Somebody, DC. Do you recognize this person if you can't recognize the signature? I don't accept the fact of Okay. Is that your handwriting? I'm going to put you to test. <clears throat> handwriting in the statement. And you've saved yourself the embarrassment. Is that your handwriting? Yes or no? <laughs> Let's have a piece of paper and a pen. Good. As you get to write down to write, cement and cement. Is that your handwriting? But I think I recorded a statement. No, so recorded is that your handwriting in the statement? Get, get it. You may have the statement. Because I'm, you're going to be tested on that. And you just tell us. Is the statement in your handwriting? Please answer the question, or say you don't want to answer it. I'm not answering it. You are answering it. <laughs> Please answer the question. Is that your handwriting? So for what reason would then, oh, for what reason would then you answer such a simple question? Is it because it's not in your knowledge? 
please answer it. Is, is that your statement? The question was whether the, well, that is a yeah, it is the statement in your handwriting. This handwriting is not mine. Thank you. You don't need to write. You think by my pen and paper. Whose handwriting is it? The handwriting is for the district, but since I'm still young in police, mm -hmm. we tend to be guided sometimes uh, to, to develop so our career. How young are you in the police? I'm four years, in 32 years in police. 32 years? The DC is 32 years, me and four years in police. The DC has been in the police for 32 years. Yes. What is his name? I can't recall his name now. So, is this still a self-recorded statement? Madam? Is this a self-recorded statement still? Yes or no? And we move to the next. And no. Sorry? No. It's not. Was it read back to you? Can I explain this? Was it read back to you? Can I explain no, this? I don't want an explanation. Was it read back to you? It was not read back to you. Did you find it correct or not? It has some loopholes. It has some loopholes. Would you point out the loopholes for court to record? The roof is that the statement is recorded by. Is it recorded what? By the DC. By the DC. How do you know somebody has spent 32 years in police and you cannot recall the name? Did you interview him? We share, sometimes we share and we talk about experience. All when we are learning, okay. we are But you still don't know the name of the person with whom you share those minute details. Are you a truthful witness? I'm a very truthful witness because I can't give you a wrong name. Can you display the truth by telling us that this is his name? I don't recall that this is his name. Have you ever known his name? I have not taken time But you have shared, including the time of service. Okay, we shall move to the next. You were stoned. Was anyone arrested for stoning you? I beg your pardon? You said you were stoned in the process of arresting Sejin. Correct? Correct. Who stoned you? Someone was standing on top of the building, I couldn't manage. Has there arresting. been any arrest? I couldn't manage arresting because I was a children. Have, have you have you ever opened up any case of assault against you? Well, Since I didn't manage to get him, I couldn't open a case. Something you call it an inquiry. Have you ever heard of it since you joined the police? I know. Okay. Did you ever open a GF, a GI, a general inquiry file? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Good. Have you ever visited any hospital for the stoning? The sister stoned in land on me. I did not open the hospital. How many people did you have in the process of arrest? We were four. Were you armed? I was not armed. Were the others armed? They were. 
The other three were armed. Yes, Prince. Were you in uniform? I was in uniform. Were they in uniform? Yes, they were. Did you find a bullet? A bullet? Yes. I didn't find a bullet since we did shoot. Did you find tear gas canister? I did use a gas, so I couldn't find them. How many people did Sergei you you come with? I couldn't count them since they were many. Okay. And then, and the four of you managed to go and arrest somebody. You arrested only one person. I managed to arrest again. Others took off. Would you uh, describe the arrest as peaceful? The arrest was very peaceful. It was very peaceful. Okay. Did Sejirinya slap you? No. Okay. He didn't slap you. How come in your statement you're not talking about the stoning? But I'm giving the new story in the statement. I'm asking you about the statement, police statement. You did not talk about the stoning. I didn't write it because I'm here to join the day. Madam, why did you not allude to any violence in your statement to police? It was not necessary. But I think I'm the person to give the witness and I'm the person who has gone. Why, then why did you write the statement? You wrote a statement. I wrote a statement. Is violence during an arrest an issue? issue? To you as a police officer? Yes, it's an issue of violence. Why, the did you, why did you leave it out? in your statement. Was Sejirinya arrested on the basis of the words he said or wrote? Sejirinya was not arrested on the words he said, but Sejirinya was arrested on the basis that he was inciting violence in the town. He was inciting violence with the placard. He was not alone. No, no, no. He is the one in the door. He was inciting violence in this placard. In the church, there are others who managed to go. I am not asking about the others. You can bring a thousand people. I am asking you, did Sejirinya incite violence? Yes, he did. By doing what? He was calling upon people to join him. Others were closing shops. Others were behind him, and he has no right. He had no right document to accept him to protest. Okay, what is that right document? So that next time he, he obtains the document. He had he had to apply. Where? To be from the IGP of police. To do what? To be given permission to come and riot. And I want to know. Tell, tell court, under what law is it required to seek permission from the IGP? Do you know or you don't know? You will please answer. Please answer the question. Since I didn't go for I can't go to go and I go to them. So on what basis therefore were you arresting him? Yeah. Are you a law enforcement officer? As a police officer? Yes, I am. Which law were you enforcing when you arrested him? I arrested Segrinia. Avoid violence in time. You wanted to avoid violence in time. In what other words, since he was calling people and the crowd was covering. Yes, so you were acting preventively. Correct? You were preventing him from... I wasn't preventing him. Oh, you were doing because what? I couldn't prevent you prevent before the act starts. Mm -hmm. But since the act had started, I wasn't preventing. Okay. The charge is called what? Threatening violence. Against who? 
Sorry? Which charge are we talking about? Which charge? The, the charge for arresting him. Oh. Yes. Was threatening violence. Against who? By the time you arrested somebody, you knew why you wanted to carry out an arrest. And you knew the offense, threatening violence. Against who? Don't look at that lady, she doesn't have your answers. No, not at all. I didn't look at her. The church? Well, that's not your church. But you can have them look at it and tell me. You can have it. Report. Threatening violence against who? So can she be available the, the charge? So we don't waste so much time with this? That we have the right answers? Don't forget I'm reading the same charge. Tell me, against who? And if it is not there, we move to the next. Answer the question. What is the question? Can you ask her the question and she answers it? The question is charge resulting violence against who? You have read the church it now. This it you No no no, he was inciting violence against who? Against the, against the public. Which public? The community. Did he tell anyone to attack the community? From that placard. You have the placard. Did he tell anyone to attack the community? Do you have an answer? If you do not have an answer, say no. Um, I'm an enforcement officer. Yes, and I asked you. My duty is to secure people and their property. Absolutely. So who are you securing by arresting CDB? Since he was in the CDB, mm. with a lot of people, mm. and others had started stoning us. A hard to pick with a genie. And the two other people, the community, as I still live. No, no, no. You mean his presence alone was inciting, was a threatening violence? He, his, if he was alone, he wouldn't be inciting violence. <coughs> you said he was in the CBD. The Is it prohibited, prohibited for him to be in the central business district? If he was alone, it wouldn't be his. But he had a goal. Why and others were stoning us. Okay. Why is the CBD is so stoning. important? Why do you think the CBD is so important? Because of the numbers, because of the location, or because of, uh, of law? I've specifically stated that my job is to cure people and their problems. In stoning, it would not be me. Was he? There are a lot of no, no, no. no. A lot of you are not confusing me, you are confusing yourself. The question is why do you think it was important that he was in the CBD that he had to be arrested? Is it prohibited for someone to be in the CBD? He was putting a lot of people's lives at by doing what? Since he had a lot of people with a lot of different intentions. What were the intentions? Since there was stoning. No, what were the intentions? Since there was stoning, I think a stone could get another one. Yes, did you recover a stone from the city? But I did yes, recover a stone from the city. Were there any stones running before you arrived? Did you witness any stones? Your were there stones running around before you went in to arrest Eddie? Or they were targeting you? There are no stones by that time. Okay. 
they, start, they started when you were there. They started when I had I was I moved to one Good. So could it not be right to say that actually your presence incited violence? I was doing my own thing. Everybody was doing their own work. Were there people doing business around this place? Yes, Prince. Are they in big numbers? Yes, Prince. How did you know the group was following Sejiri and they were not walking around <laughs> doing their business? I've said there are people who have businesses there always with their business. So you always know them? Correct? For how long have you been at Mini Christ? Two months. Two months. Therefore, are you able to know everybody doing business around there? I can't know each and everybody, but I know part. So you know just a few of them. How about their customers? Do you know them? Do you know the customers who simply come to buy stuff from that place? Do you know the customers or you don't? I can't clarify each and every customer. You can't. So how did you know that the group of youth were following Zedirinya? How did you profile them to know? Was it according to age? A customer and someone following another one, they are two, they are two different people. But people were walking towards a certain direction, right? When Zedirinya came with the group started, people were their businesses closed clothing and others running away. They started closing their businesses? Yes. Did you record the statements from them to know why they were closing? Did you or you did not? I did. You didn't. Worship, I, I applied to tender in her statement, the original, as the first defense exhibit. First prosecution witnesses police statement that is dated the 23rd, 22nd day of March 2021 is hereby admitted and marked as the first defense exhibit. The second last statement in your police statement states. That's all. You say, that's all, I can state now. So do we take it that anything that was not in, in this statement as at that time was not purposeful? And that's all you had with respect to this case. That's all I can state by that time. Yes. Because that's all you knew about the case. I had. I still have a chance of making an additional statement. Well, you still have. Uh, do you, you still have a chance of making an additional statement. At what point do you intend to write that additional statement? Mm -hmm. When? Because we would love to share with you to share to, to share with us a copy of the same. When do you intend to fight to, to prepare it? By that time, that's what I am saying. Stage. When do you intend to write that additional statement? When I find it necessary. Even now, you do not find it necessary. So, you did say you were young in the police, and that explains the quality of statement you wrote, correct? Yes, madam. And you're heading as a police post, and you use the words while you're standing there. You are the commander. Do you see the quality of service to which you treat Ugandans? Mm that you can't write your own statement properly. But you are an OC and you are an ASP. But I think in every duty or in any job, we don't learn by one day. Yes. We learn, you, it's a gradual process. I agree with you. It has taken you four years 
to learn basic policy. It is not one day. Those are four years we are talking about. Do you supervise people? I, I did, I, I'm not a CIT, I do general education. Yes. So in, everyone is experienced in a different department. So in anything, I'm yes. going to learn. You mean even uh, giving information to the police officer of 32 years experience was a very difficult and onerous job on you? Giving him information was a very onerous job on you? Yes or no? Because you are not recording the statement. You are providing information. And a very senior police officer of 32 years experience from your secret corps was the one recording the statement. And you left out basic information, including violence, including the time. Madam. Where did you get this additional information that's not included in your statement? You don't know the law under which you were arrested. So which question is she answering, Council? Those are too many. I, no, I actually meant that she answers. Yes, yeah, so you've got to pause for her to get to know what you want from her, otherwise she will be quiet. I have guided your worship and I pause for her to answer. What now? Because there were a couple of them. Yes, all of them. Does she remember them? You have to restate them. She, she has not stated that she has memory lapses. But she can tell me where she needs uh, some. You come back with a question one by one. You mean there are too many that you cannot comprehend them? Okay, the first. As you plan to conclude your cross-examination, Council. That is being planned, Your Worship. Thank you, Your mm -hmm. Worship. One. You mean providing information to a senior police officer to record your statement it was too onerous on you? It was too heavy a duty. It's not. Why did you not provide basic information that is important, including what you have stated before? How many oversights have you suffered in this statement? We can still start, start counting them. Any human, human being can make any mistake. I can't make your mistakes. There are too many. In a, in a, in a one page statement? Okay, good. Tell us about this. Are you proud you need a competent job? I love my job. Uh, it's not about love. Love and the distinction are different. Do you feel you're a competent police officer to supervise other police officers down there? Yes, I am. And this is the quality you feel you can answer. You feel that's your best. Finally, tell us about your education background. I don't think that is necessary. Oh, no, it's not you think. For your protection. You, are not, you can't be protected in this. You've got to answer this question. Why, why don't you allow courts to... Thank you, Because you are still... Be Development studies from which university? From Bishop Stewart University. Last year, uh, which year? I graduated in 2010. That is 27, 29. Which university is that? Bishop Stewart. And A level? Hillside Academy in Poman. Which years? That was 2000, 2003, 2000. And all levels? <clears throat> I finished my all level in 2000. In 2002. From which school? 
from Bishop Oshie Bushen High School. Bishop who? Bishop Ogezi Bushen High School. I can't hear the second one. Bishop? Bishop Ogiz. Bishop Ogiz High School. Ogiz. Ogiz. Something of the sort. <clears throat> so, um, what time, at what point did you call in CPS to help you to reinforce? I called at around 10, 10.20 a.m. Operations reached me by 10.30. How long did this process of arresting Seji in your take you? It took me 10 to, 20, to 15 minutes. 15 minutes. What, what, what was it that was taking so long? Were you talking to him? There was movement from police to the, to the destination. From the destination, I think, him. I did handcuff him. Did you touch him? I held his hand. You held his hand and you walked together? After picking him from many of the people, yes. who at the office, I handed him to his person <coughs> pushing themselves. I went back to cover the rest of the personnel in the floor. So the process was smooth? Yes, it was. I saw your worship from us. Can you clarify how your statement was recorded? How was your statement recorded? My statement was recorded from CPS. Okay, so you told him um, what you knew about the matter and you recorded him. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Did he read back to you your statement? I read it myself. So now, can you clarify the discrepancy between time you mentioned in your statement and what you just told me? Honestly, I was on a hurry. I didn't take the writing practice on the last time. How do you uh, use the microphone and we should be able to hear everything that comes from you? Can you explain, yes, why there is a discrepancy between time you mentioned in your police statement and what you just did for the few minutes ago in court? I think the DC wrote that time wrongly according to what I have told him. What's the time did you tell him? I told him at 10. According to you, how did the accused person incite violence? According to me, since I just had placards, and since she was being followed by the delegation, since she was being followed by out of people, and we intervened 
and stones coming from up, and there's coming to run away, and others coming to join him. God has to make what he has to do. Please. Since the Ashus was moving and then having a lot of people behind him, and since I intervened and storms were coming following that, and most of the people, the, the business community are closing their shops running by for the fear of their lives. Then had drug bags, which they ran, which they ran away with. They couldn't manage to arrest them, and others were shouting. What were they saying? Could you hear the words? I, others were saying, "We need freedom." Others were saying, "Free our presidential victory." Others were shouting. Well, you kept your worship to the evidence relating to other people because it never was a person and what they used to be carrying. Mm -hmm. That's very true. So I won't write that. Did your he didn't. He actually he actually did not cross examine him about what the rest of the people, the too many people, were saying. Obliged. Do you know who preferred the charge or charges against the prisoners? Clarify whether you were the one. Who preferred the charge? I'm not the one who charged him. Me, my job was I was arrested the prison. And you ask me, what prompted you to apprehend the accused person? What prompted you to arrest the accused person? I I I picked the the first person. I picked the first person in the 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 area my area of jurisdiction. And this sector can be predicted by the reasons. And the stone will be in the camera. Why did you arrest him? You said. I arrested him on the second of March. Why? I want to write the answer. I didn't hear some of the words. Is that clear? Why did I arrest you? That's clear. Why did you arrest me? I arrested you. I arrested you that you. Because I wanted sanity and avoid anything that could fall in my area of street So what was he doing? Since he had a lot of people following him, and since he was holding crap cards, That's all for the I pray to call in the message.
to God that the evidence I shall give before this court, that it is not now, shall be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Now, I understand you really want to take the best photos that you can take, but those flashes and the noises of those cameras somehow distract us. Eh? So, and even the witnesses. So if you can take off the, the noise, because most of these cameras are doing well, actually. Same for one, I've just noticed. The, the flash, the noise, so it isn't fair, okay? Yeah. Mr. So David, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. Where do you reside? I reside at the place of the And which police station are you attached to? I'm attached at CPS Kampala. What role did you play in this matter? Well, it was on the 22nd of March. Afande, what role did you play in this case? My role, I picked Muhammad Segininya from Nini Price Police Post. I brought him to CPS and I tried him with the child in And in what capacity did you do that? I'm the OC operations CPS Kampala. What transpired on the 22nd of March 2021 regarding this matter? Well, it was on the 22nd of March 2021. I was called by uh, Senator Private Open to be the OC of Mini Price Police Post. Okay. At around so you, are, you say you are the OC operations, right? Yes. Okay. So on the very second day, what happened? On the 22nd of March 2021, mm. at exactly 10.30 a.m., I was called by the OC Mini Price, the cement of Ivia, that she had arrested one Zegri Muhammad, who had led a group of youth. Uh, Others blaming us. 
the police why did you have uh, arrested the owner? Uh, I immediately secured the police. I picked uh, one Muhammad Sebinia, put him in the vehicle. I also got the exhibit. That is a sky blue play card, which had ratings. I also uh, also the exhibit that is the sky blue play card, which had ratings on it like uh, our presidential victory, free Budenli, free Edenutwe, free Mubiru James. Uh, I wrote, uh, Can you go through them again? <coughs> So, yes. Yeah. Free what? Free our presidential victory. Free Mugiani. Free Eddie Mutoy. Free Mugiru James. Uh, I brought Mohamed uh, Segirinya to CPS Kampala on the charge of reciting violence of the fight against him. I handed over the exhibit to the investigating officer. This was reported by the CP reference 45 on 26 March 2021. Who is the IO to whom you handed over the exit? Well, I can't remember the name of the IO. Given the opportunity to have a look at the fake placard, would you be able to identify? Yes, I can easily identify. I pray to be availed. PID one. Look at that. Do you recognize it? Yes, I do recognize it. How? It was sky blue and I, I see the writings which I saw for the ones here. And uh, the, the writings were in a blue marker, in a red marker, written using a, pen, a, a red marker. Anything else? That's what I can say. That's all that we can say. Sir David Nahani? Sorry, I'll be close if I may. Please. Sir David Nahani, 29 years, right? When did you join the police? I joined the police in 2015. 2015. Before joining the police, what were you doing? I didn't have any other job. 
when did you leave school if you attended school? I left school in 2014. Where, which school did you leave? That is in Akeli University, Kampala. Kampala. Where you studied what? Another question. Arts in economics. You were the Bachelor of Arts in economics. For how many years? You attended for how many years? For three years. For three years. And before Makede, where were you? Before Makede, I was at Kanuni Secondary School. Sorry? I was at Kanuni Secondary School for a level. Where is Kanuni? It's found in Kazo. In Kazo District. Formerly part of Barara District. That's right. Okay. And you have all level? Still the same school. It is commendable that at that young age you are an assistant superintendent of police. That should be based on government. That's right. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Confirm that your role was simply to pick Sedilinia from many price and you had no other role. Well, uh, depending on the situation, that is the role I play. Which situation now would change your role? If I had phone when uh, the situation your role was to be him and we're talking about what happened, not what would happen. We're not talking about fanciful possibilities. What happened is you only did that. That's what I did. Good. Now you said when you got there you secured the place. How did you secure the place? Uh, when I reached I phone when there was a motion for her to gun it up around the, the police post daily. Uh, I ordered my officers to take position and uh, when we took for the position, of course we for had to uh, to back off because some people were throwing stones, the others wanted people to attack, so they can rescue one second moment. So people were not happy that Sejin had been arrested. Some of them were not happy, not quite. Okay. Some of them. Did you interview those that were not happy and those that were happy? Uh, uh, my, my you interview did not. I did. You didn't. How long did it take you to pick him up? Uh, it took me like 10 minutes. Did you find any of, you, of your officers bleeding? No. As a result of the stoning? No. Okay. Did you receive any complaint of your, any of your officers having been stoned? Yes. Oh. The OC of many price yes. police had been stoned. Did you see any bruise or injury on her? No. No. Did you advise her to report this an incident, that as an incident, as a criminal incident? Well, did you or not? You found it so ordinary and casual that an officer is stoned and you do not advise her to report that as a criminal incident. Well, uh, we normally encounter such a scenarios. They are part of your hazards. They are part of your hazards, as you have said. She show you anything where the stone had touched on her body. I witnessed the stone. the stone. You witnessed her being stoned? I witnessed the uh, I members am, of the I community. I am talking about her. They was here. We were together when she was stoned. When she was stoned. Which part of the body was she stoned? In the back. She was stoned in the back. Okay. And where did the stone come from? From some members of the community. You arrested them because you had already reinforced. I did. Did you see the person who stoned? I saw, but of course I could not recognize the person. Was this person a male or a female? It was a male. It was a male. And where was he positioned? Just opposite the police station. I see. Inside the building, outside the building, Outside the building on the street. On the street. 
did you recognize the shop? Oh, you said on the street. Not on, on the, not on the roof, not inside any building. No. Okay. Let's talk about the charging. You said you're the one who charged the sun, correct? True. True. You charged him with what? Reciting violence. Against who? Against Muhammad Sajid. No. <laughs> who did he incite? <laughs> Muhammad Sajid is the suspect. Yes. Incited violence against who? Against the police. Against the police. How? Uh, while demonstrating was going on members of the public to join him, and the police, when the police intervened, uh, the people started throwing stones at the police. Sure. Yes. And that constituted an incitement to violence against the police. Yes. Who did he tell to do work to the police? As they were moving together with the youth he had, yes. they were calling upon people yes. to demonstrate. And the demonstration is an incitement in your vocabulary, sir. It was unlawful. What made it unlawful? Well, they did pass through the right procedures. If they wanted to demonstrate, they would have written to the IGP. And would have written, they would have gotten uh, an order to allow them to, to do so. But they didn't. law is that requirement? Uh, regarding what? That commission you're talking about. That is under the public order manual. Which section? Uh, I can say um, entirely in operation that one. Uh, uh, my colleague, the investment Now this is your area. This is your area as OC operation. That's why I'm taking you to that. Which section? My area is entirely in operation. Eh? This is this You don't know. It's okay. If you say you don't know, I will understand. Do you know you don't know? I don't know. But you proceeded to charge. Well, of course I had to charge because I'm the confinement in the matter. However, when we reach at the police station, there is what we call a station diary. And there is what we call a station diary officer. He's the one who prefers a charge. And that is entirely a CID personnel. Are you that the station diary officer? I am not. But you're the one who charged. Well, I am saying I was the complainant in this matter, and I'm the one who, who does what? He charges in my... Were you aggrieved now? Were you aggrieved by what Sejinia did? Well, I was. Were you? You were? Yes. What was your grievance? Uh, Second, you didn't pass through the right procedure. I did ask you on a web section of the Public Order Management Act. I can't tell. Okay. You said you have been in the police since 2015, right? Yes. Those are five years. <coughs> yes. Are you also aware that the section under which you are talking, which you are talking about, was annulled by the Constitutional Court? I'm not aware of that. You are not aware. Sir. Why? Because it's not your interest. I'm not into the city work. I'm entirely in operation. Okay. Do you read in order to facilitate your work as a police officer? I do. But that one you do not know. I I okay. don't know about what you're saying. Of course. Oh, I didn't expect you to know it anyway. Let me ask you this question. Did you arrest Sejirinya because he incited the violence? And the, what constituted the unlawful? I don't think he will answer that, Council, because he didn't say he arrested. So that will consume too much of our time. Yes. Did you say you preferred the charge of his IT violence? And the reason was because Sejin did not pass through the right channels. I, together with the station dial officer, with the CID personnel, yes. preferred that charge against Sejin Muhammad. Who is that station dial officer? The investigating officer. The name? I, he will come and explain I, to you. Who will come? The investigating officer. What is his name? I can't tell. Okay. You don't know the name? Do you or you don't? I don't know his name. So how long have you worked at CPS? Uh, so far, 
I spent uh, two months at CPS. Two months. So at the time you picked Sejirinya from many price for this post you had spent one, about one month at CPS. No, I had already spent two. You had already spent two. Today is what date? Today is the 15th of March. And you picked Sejirinya on 22nd March, uh, 22nd March. So today is 15th April, not March. That's close to a month. You're not taking into account that time. You insist you had spent two months, which you still have spent today. Well, uh, I think I'm making three months. <laughs> Before CPS, where were you? Before CPS, I was in Bududa. In Bududa. So from Bududa, you came from. You came straight to Kampala. Yes. Was that on promotion? Well, uh, even in Bududa, I was in Bududa. Even in Bududa, you were also in operation. Okay. Confirm that anything that happened before you reached any price, you were just told. You were just told, you were didn't see. Everything that happened before I reached there, of course I was told, but when I reached, uh, I think I explained what I told uh, on the scene. When they go see uh, many price, cement was stoned, did she cry? She didn't. Did not. So it was not hurt her. It wasn't. She Can said it hurt her. Counsel, for the sake of time, I would uh, prefer you stick to only the relevant questions. This is very relevant. You stick to the relevant questions, uh, especially considering the charge that we have before us. The ingredients are very clear, and uh, the law. Um, I'm more like the Russian. Yes. First of all, thank you very much so, for the guidance. Uh, however, I think that. Uh, the, um, the presentation of this witness is very key, especially on the matters of course examining him. Um, um, okay. She indicated to you that the stone hurt her. She did. She did not. But you witnessed the stone landing on her. Yes. And at this time, Sejirinya was already in the cells. Sejirinya was already in the cells. Thank you, and your worship that so on. Jampola, Elias. No rank at all? I'm number three, four. Number three, four. Eight to six. Eight to six. Detective Corporal. Chief Jampola, Elias. So Chief Jampola is double J, Chief Jampola. Okay. 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 M, equal to L, A. Elias. I do swear that the pension special duties of all these matters shall be done How old are you? I'm of course the class of age. Yes? I'm of course the class of age. Where do you reside? 
Sandra Boyce Burns. Which police station are you attached to? What role did you play in this matter? I'm an investigative officer. Can you tell me what your findings are for investigation? I do report as a defense of March, 2021. Why to be loud sir? Because the man on the other side can hear you and he can only hear you from the mic. Uh, it was on the 22nd of March, 2021, when I was allocated the case five and uh, the suspect was he had been action has been had been taken against him for the incitement violence. I recorded his statement, put on report. I did my course of investigations. Pardon? You recorded a statement from the accused person? Yes. What did you tell you? Uh, in the statement, he told me that on that same day, at around 10 in the morning, he left his house, headed to Pampara, around mean price, wanting to demonstrate or to protest for his political sphere in custody and he was demanding for his presidential victory. That's what he called me. And the placard he had with the writings. Pardon? The placard. Are you still telling us what he told you? What a what a corner. No, I am at a point where you're recording the accused statement and you just told us. That's what he told me. Okay. Yes. Who handed over the placard to you? At what place was it handed over to you? ASP Nathania David. ASP who? Nathania David. Marked it. Exhibited it. Pardon? I marked it. I marked it with the word exhibit in red. And I remember I put SP reference beneath the line. So you marked it with the word exhibit? And what else? And the uh, reference number beneath the line. and was stored. Oh yeah, it was split today. No, wait a second, you just marked the S. What else did you do with it? It was stored. It was put in the storage. Did you exhibit it? I exhibited it, and the, and the, and the sleep attached on fire. Okay. And the exhibit sleep attached on fire.
tell the court about the episode. I didn't tell the court about the episode. Who made it? I object to your worship that the exhibit slip is not one of the disclosed documents that accompany their form and we have not looked at it. Why is that signed on it? Okay, what for? I became after the after all that had to both February and past. No, just you tell the court about the exhibit. You marked it, yes, you made an exhibit slip, what for? On exhibit slip? I indicated what was on the paper, on the placard. Yes. So where did you take the exhibit? It was for where? By the police. In the police powers. Yes? Where it was picked there, you brought in there. Who picked it? This money? Myself. If you wish. This is the map in red, and this is the SD reference beneath the line. And you said the empty slip has your signature. I look at this type of my signature. All of my signature. All of my signature. This is my signature. How should I pray to tender in both the exhibit and the exhibit slip as prosecution exhibits? March the year 2021 for the placard in this case is also admitted and marked as prosecution exhibit number two. Much of it. Now, the accused person was there after child incitement to violence. I will tell the court your specific findings in regard to that child. My findings. During my investigation, when I interrupted the arresting officers, I was told that during the course of arrest, during the course of arrest, while in Kampala at um, main price, he was moving, calling upon people. That they join him and they fight for. Where did you learn that from? From the arresting officer. Was it an interview or you read somewhere? What exactly are you talking about here? Uh, as an investigating officer, I was trying to find out from how much exactly happened. So it was from an interview. Was it an interview? Yes. He was moving, calling upon people to join him, and his friends in he was with that they demand. She told you that? As the same Girinia was along with Price Road, together with his colleagues, were not arrested. That he was calling upon people. 
to join him. And a man for their presidential victory. And, and for the three of Eddie Mukwek. Forgive me for forgetting your name. Even your colleague Mahania who was there, he could not recall your name. For how long have you known Mahania? For a short time. What is that short time? It's like uh, four months. Like four months. Right. But you are able to, to recall, to remember him. I congratulate you. He could not recall your name. Thank you. Yeah, you seem to have a sharp brain. Correct? Correct. 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 We found that everything you are telling us about in this good session, you were just told, you were not there. Correct. And your basis for charging Sejirinia with inciting violence was because he was calling upon people to demonstrate, correct? True. For how long have you been in the police? This is my 20th year. 20th? Hey! You are not mine. When did you join? That was in 1990. 1990. 2000. 2000 what? 2000 what? 2000 what? 2000. They are 2000. That's when you do it. Yes. Okay. You made a self recorded statement. Correct. On 22nd March 2001. 21. Correct. What did you say you joined? 2000. 2000. Okay. Which date of the statement? The date is 22nd March 2021. Okay. In this case, in this statement, you do not talk about your age. Was it deliberate? It was not relevant. I see. So, to those that found it relevant, they were just in error. Do you have your national ID with you? Not here with me. Don't move with it. Are you a registered person in Uganda? Are you registered in Uganda for purposes of the registration of Assons Act? Yes. When were you born? I was born on the 21st of December, 1980. 1980? Correct. And that makes 40 years, correct? Yeah. 20 out of which you have been in the police. Did you go to school before joining the police? I did. Where? Ginger says. Ginger says. Yeah. Which year? I was in Ginger says. The old ship years have gone my head. Have disappeared. So what did you come out with? From GGSS. Certificate. In what? That's USCE. USCE. And UCE? From where? Yeah. Same school? True. So you finished your senior six? True. You said there you can't remember. Unfortunately, I like to from this honorable court that I didn't come prepared for basically school issues because there's a big gap in behind. Your competence is an issue is an issue? Your memory is an issue? It's an issue. How you remember and comprehend issues. Sure. Whereas I started with the impression that you're a very sharp man. You have so far failed one fundamental question when you could not remember when you finished year six. 
just to demonstrate relevance of the questions I'm asking. You cannot remember when you finished the senior six, and you. Council, let's go on. He can't remember, and you do nothing to make him remember. Sure, I can, I can But uh, with your guidance, yes. Okay. You said your basis of charging Sejirinya with inciting violence was because he was calling upon people to demonstrate. And I believe you are literate enough. Look at this book called The Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. I have tried to help you open Article 29. As a police officer, are you required to enforce and protect the freedoms in the Constitution? Yes. Look at 29, which I opened for you. In particular, 29D. Okay. You see that 2990? Yes. Would you read the first 29, beginning with the word protection of freedom? Can you read that? Loud. Protection of freedom, of concerns, exploration, movement, religion, assembly, and association. Good. Read 29.1. Every person shall have the right to go to D. Freedom of assemble and demonstrate together with others peacefully and an arm and petition and good. Well said it in your arm. I don't know because I wasn't at the scene. From your inquiries, was he armed? He was not armed. Good. When you interviewed Mosimenta, Mosimenta, did you interview Mosimenta? You OC? I did. You did. Did she say Sejirinya was armed? No. Have you read Mosimenta's police statement? No. You have not read Mosimenta's police statement. Have you read Nahamia's police statement? No. Okay. Have you read Chijian Pola's statement? I did. And you are Chijian Pola? Yes. Does it indicate he was armed? No. Do you know Akankwasa Alex? Akankwasa Alex? Yes. He is a police officer. You know him. Have you read his statement? Does he say uh, Sejirinya was armed? I don't know because I've not read his statement. I have not read his statement. What kind of I.O. are you? That you have all those witnesses in your file. Sir. And you have not read their statements. Are you a competent police officer? I am. You are. Yes. That's how competent you are. And on the basis of calling upon people to demonstrate you charged him with inciting violence, correct? Correct. At what point did you come to the conclusion that he incited people with violence? By the virtue of Sergeyinia's political figure. What, what kind of political figure is he? He's a member of parliament elect of Kawembe. Yes. And he has a following. How many people follow him? I didn't count. You know them, but you did not count. Neither do I know Where do they follow? Where do they follow him? Like what said this one report? That? As he was calling upon people to join him and demonstrate, he was arrested by the police. Was he calling them by word or by writing or by conduct? Both. He was calling them by word of mouth mm. and by the information of the placard. It calls them upon. Show me anything in the placard that tells people demonstrate.
Ваше предстоит купить отель и детей. Should be just one word that tells people how much demonstrate. I think I didn't mention any word to be specific. But that was your interpretation. Was it by your interpretation? Because that's what you read. By the fact that he was calling upon people to join him and demonstrate. No, I am saying, you see, he was doing so by both what and the writing. And the writing is in that exhibit. Correct? So, do you have any word that you can go into that calls upon people to demonstrate? Your Worship, I would like to inform this court that somebody on reading those statements on the placard yes. and at the same time on uh, Segrinya calling on people to join him and demonstrate, automatically they will. So, it is by inference that you, they were calling upon people to demonstrate. Correct? He was calling them by the word of mouth. By word of mouth. In which language? He was using Uganda. See. Who gives you this information? ASP Sinyanka, who was on the ground. Oh, she's the one who had him tell people, come and demonstrate. True. Okay. In your interview with Sejirinya, did he tell you where he was going? Yes. He told me. Where was he going? Many price. Many price what? Is it an office? It is a place with many people. Okay. Yes. Read again that constitution. I opened it for you. Do you know how to open? Or I open? Yes, I can open the constitution. Open 29. Are you there? True. The very one you were reading. D. Freedom. Assemble and demonstrate together with others, peacefully and unarmed, and to petition. Did you ask him who he was going to petition? No. He did not. So, let's go to your statement. Did you record a statement, if you could be a big one? Oh, it is for, I was asking you, at what point do you come to the conclusion? That is when they had briefed you. Him calling upon the people to join him yes. to demonstrate. Yes. What did Musimenta tell you was Sejirinya's church? Because Sejirinya was charged at, uh, was uh, first detained at Muni Price. What was the charge? Did you find out as I O, the one recorded in the books at uh, Muni Price? At Muni Price? Yes. He was in the cells at Muni Price. Are you aware? I wasn't aware of that. You were not aware, so you did not even find out that? Because I was, they brought him to the office he was. I see. So for you, your work was only to do what? Because you did not investigate. I did. You did? I did investigate. So when they brought the case file to you, what charge did it have? What complaint was it? It was incitement, violence. I see. And who had preferred that? Uh, SP Nahamia, maybe? Okay. What should be if he could be availed his police statement? Did you not sit with Nahamia to determine the charge? You heard me. Did you not sit down with the Nahami and came up with the church? Look at me because I want you to, to, to I want to test your eyes. Was it not you who sat in a meeting with the Nahami to determine what to try to say in your way? I would like to tell this honorable court that when the church is being preferred, it does not call for a meeting. So there was no meeting with you between you and Nahami? No. no. Let's go to your statement. Are you able from the word to read from the word the state? First, is that your statement? It is. You are a detective corporal of Chijampola area. Correct. You have taken so long to be promoted. 
Is it because of confidence or incompetence? The procedures followed in the police. And you have, you, you have not followed them. And so please cross-examine the witness. It's not fair that you attack him this much. Even this pastor pointing at him, you must respect him. I'm sorry, it's not point first at him. You, you did so many times, by the way, when you ordered him to look in your eye. So oh. Some of these are not what we should be doing as a bar. I, I apologize, you should accept that I was following his eyes and where he was going. Yeah, you can follow the them, but remain polite. Thank you, Mr. Chijankola. So you have not followed those processes? Like I said, it's not meant for the procedure, but the, the police promoting council does it. Yes, and I'm saying it has not seen competence in you. That's why. No. The wrong. They have seen competence. Let's seen. look at the statement. You state it was read. So the, 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 the 22nd of March 2011, when I received like a scale of Read loud. It was today, the 22nd of March, 2021, when I received the case file of... Why do you pause? Read. Are you hiding anything? It is on, it is writing, it is there. Read. I prefer, I beg this one for court to give me time and go for this statement silently. <laughs> your statement, correct? So is that your statement as you read? <laughs> yes. It is your statement. Then go back and read that those words you are meeting. Common nuisance. You received. Read the sentence. Received the case file of common nuisance. I immediately command commenced the inquiries, and statements were recorded from the complainant and the arresting officers and the person I suspect was in protected and heated, I being inconvenient probably, and he suspect was a protected and brought to Common nuisance was the offense. Who preferred the offense of common nuisance? I would like to inform this honorable court that whenever a suspect is arrested, there must be a holding charge if in any matter needed. So common nuisance was a holding charge rest against Segirinia pending investigations. So you arrest, then you hold, you get something called the common nuisance. And the next day you can charge somebody with murder. It was Correct? Right. Depending on what investigation leads to. So, then who, who prefer the common nuisance? Like I said, that's ASP Nahamia, who had brought him in. Good. You are holding that file. True. So, Show us in that police file where common nuisance is. This is incitement to violence. And who preferred incitement to violence? Myself. And where did the common nuisance come from? Like I inform this honorable court, during the course of investigations, we have a lot of techniques used during the investigations. So the techniques include you uh, preferring a non existing charge or a charge that is not disclosed by the facts. Negative. So where did you get this from? Where did you get common nuisance from? Because it was forwarded to you. It was not you preferring. By the time it came to you, it had a preferred charge. Common nuisance. Where is it in your file? All right. To inform this honorable court, 
that during the time I was compiling Zegrinya's file, I had four case files on my table, and it might have been an error in writing, but charges were put there. This one you are saying, you are demonstrating, should be said on the microphone, because the record must bear it. But what? Every word, every word you say has the incitement. No, 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 no. Where does common nuisance come from and by who? It was a writing error. Oh. Now, you have so far given three answers in respect to common nuisance. The fact, the first one is that you, you, you do what you call a holding term. Now, it is a writing error. The third is that you had other files. So which is which? Which one is, or is the truth and which one is the lie? I pray for this one of that I think that we go with a writing error. The other two were lies, so we should not take them. They were not lies. What were they? Were they the truth? We go with were they, were they true statements when you said them in court? Thank you, were the other two answers lies or they were true statements when you said them in court? Were they true statements? True. They were true statements. Why don't you want court to record them? Why do you want to withdraw them and court retains one? Like to try this one. We go with one. Why do you want courts to discard the other two? Which you say they are true statements and they are on record. Okay. Whatever the worth of your answer, I have taken the lecturer's answer. Who was your complainant in this? Sorry? SP. What was his grievance? What was his grievance? Do you have an answer to that? I do. Give it. I would like to inform this honorable court that SP Nahamia charged Segirinya Muhammad of incitement to violence. At what point does he charge? Before involving you or after? That is before according to the police procedures. That is before according to the police procedures. <laughs> but by the time the file reached your desk, the charge was common nuisance. What do you mean? Incitement to violence. Right. So you confused the two. Okay. Other than Nahamia, you see, you talk to Nahamia. You talk to the cementer. Did you talk to any other person? I interacted with also the other police officer whose name goes up my head. Whose statement you did not read? I would like to inform this honorable court that I read the statements of all my witnesses on file, but according you to how counsel was asking, it seemed it, mean, it meant that as if I had to read them from here. Uh, so now you have to read them, their statements. I read them. I'm going to ask you questions arising from their statements since you read them. I read them. Let's go to. Uh, to SP Zimenta. Did she tell you the time that Sejirinya was arrested? No. Did she tell you how she was stoned? No. Did she tell you the time the patrol went to pick Sejirinya? No. Let's Go ahead. Thank you, Worship. Worship, the uh, accused applies for bail for this honorable court. 
the following grounds. One that is charged with the bailable offence. Two, that he undertakes to appear as and when directed by the Honorable Court to conclude this case. The accused person is a newly elected member of parliament for Kawempe North constituency in Kampala capital city. The accused person now has a running election petition for which he cannot adequately prepare to defend his victory and desires and praise that he be released on bail on the softest of terms possible. As substantial sureties, home with your permission, I would proceed to introduce to the Honorable Court. Relating to the sureties. How many sureties are there? I have three. Okay. Can I present for your documentation? Mm. Your Worship, I'll start with the permission. With the Honorable Nsanja Patrick Kayongo. Who is a resident of Plot 1054? Please send all their documentation. Thank you, Oshu. What do you do? It's just a profession. There are so many lawyers who are having these degrees and seated in villages digging. So, you, what do you do? I didn't ask you about your profession. Tell me about your work. Me, I'm a lawyer by profession who is currently practicing as, an, as a magistrate. He is an advocate. So you, what do you do? Which business? Where? Where in Kangrumila and Kampala? Where exactly? Yes. And Kampala? Nakasero what? Where in Nakasero? Where exactly? Do you ever sit there? Do you ever sit at Nakasero? No, I don't. Hey. So you where do you, where do we find you? Sorry? Where do we find you? Where do we find you? Where do we find you? Your Honor, we don't know that I am an MPA of intended some constituents by the district. MP what? Elect. For? Intended South Kayunga District. Your telephone? 0774-857148 as well as 0701-857148 How do you know this person? <coughs> Sorry? How do you, how do you know Sajirinya? Is your family friend? Is your family friend? Do you reside in Intangelu or do you reside in Masiki? Masiki is right here in Kampala. And when I go to the consultancy back home, I reside in Intangelu. Okay. 
So what's the name of the zone? Or there is another word? Hmm? What do you do? This is Makindia East. This is Makindia East. What do you call your constituents? Yes. Makindia East. And currently? Anything else that you do? Is there anything else that you do? Yes. What? I'm a film director by profession. You are? A film director. A film director. Film director. Film director. <laughs> the, 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 the film. The film. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What is the name of your? This matter is in, is in its advanced stages. Prosecution have been arranged before court during witnesses. And we are left with only one more witnesses. One more witness to call, beg your pardon, to conclude our case. It is our humble submission that admitting the applicant today will serve no purpose other than delaying hearing of the case. My humble prayer is therefore that uh, the chair will be expedited as opposed to the accused being granted bail. However, Your Honor, in the event that court is inclined to grant bail, 
campaign with very stringent terms. Tell the accused pastor to return to court as and when is required. I saw them. With your ground to deny bail, the deserving applicant. Neither is it dictated by common sense. But that said, the applicant has demonstrated grounds that are sufficient to invite you to exercise this discretion, including the prosecution and defense of an election petition against the applicant, as well as affording adequate treatment while outside. Prosecution has not demonstrated how granting of bail would delay hearing of this case where they are left with only one, one witness and the processes ahead are still numerous, including the accused person making a case of no case to answer or a submission, as well as preparing his witnesses if he chooses. I therefore invite you to find that this is a case worth considering and granting bail and invite you to hold so. To compel him, he does not need compulsion. It is an undertaking from him, as well as his charities, because the credit has not been assailed. And the whom the defense has explained their roles and undertake to execute the same. I reiterate my earlier prayers. Thank you. Except what? Save for the fixed chair for Yes, the but be one that this is, is this is only for now it is available. Yeah, it doesn't depend on your so many electoral electoral petitions or even Supreme Court cases or Court of Appeal. We really know that we are such a small court. No, no, I didn't say that. But when we give dates and you don't come, your client will be compelled to sit. In any case, there are a couple of lawyers here, I see, oh, right, Joseph, although who said them. nothing, so they can come and represent him. So you. let them confirm that those, that date is actually available for them too. So we don't hinge this date on yes. your busy schedule I, 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 that I, may I, come I, later. Your Worship, with your permission, I thank this conference. Yes, you take a date. I only express my... Yeah, it's also not fair for us. Because, uh, depending on uh, electoral petitions that I may be involved in. Uh, Take a okay. date when you're going to be around. Oh, sure. That's it, yes. That's it. Where is your permission? Yeah. 14th. Let's do 14th of May. Pardon? 
I suggest 14th of May. 14th of May. May. So you choose it yourself. Yeah. I'm advising 14th again. Yeah. Not anything beyond 30 days. Not anything beyond. So we'll go back to yeah. April. If you're too busy. No, no, it's okay. And in that case, let's still take 12. So 12? Yes. Yeah, please make sure I'm here or someone will be here to proceed. Thank you. You're many of you, so. So this matter is adjourned for further hearing of the last prosecution witness on the. And uh, we agreed to, right? Yes, sir. All right. This case is adjourned for further hearing of the prosecution case on the 12th day of May, 2021 at 9 a.m. We wish you well and see you then.